What you're training and improving when you're getting better at dealing with stress is this ability to tolerate high amounts of adrenaline in your body and to think clearly and function. Adrenaline is epinephrine. That gets your body organs amped up and energized. So when you are stressed, your brain and your body both wake up and that adrenaline hijacks certain systems, narrows your visual focus, et cetera, et cetera. If you look at almost all stress inoculation protocols, cold water, ice bath, cold shower, cyclic hyperventilation, those all do the same thing. They generate a lot of adrenaline release in the brain and a lot of adrenaline release in the body. But it's different if those, if the adrenaline in the brain and body is evoked by you, that you did it. Because under conditions under which you did the ice bath deliberately and now you're wide awake and really, really alert, there's this feeling that you have options. It wasn't done to you, but you can train up an ability to, for instance, think clearly and calmly. Um, maybe even do some simple math problems in your head or maybe try and relax while there's all this adrenaline in your system. And that carries over so that when you, you know, we've all done it, you're driving along, the person in front of you stops short and you're almost in the accident, right? There's that moment where you could panic or that moment where you could, you know, road rage or that moment where you could freak out. But if you are familiar with the feeling of adrenaline in your brain and body, you navigate that in a, in a calmer way. How? Well, because adrenaline is generic. There's no adrenaline for the car crash, adrenaline for the heights, adrenaline for the, the relationship situation. It's all the same. So we can get better. We can raise our stress threshold, as I like to refer to it. And that can be done through cold water or cyclic hyperventilation, ideally not at the same time. But cold water you know, is a universal stimulus for creating adrenaline release. And there's a big range of cold, not infinite, but a big range of cold in which you can generate adrenaline without harming your tissue. Whereas with heat, you get into a very hot environment or very low oxygen environment. You'll also get a lot of adrenaline, but you can also suffocate and burn yourself. So this is why cold is used in Navy SEAL screening and training. And this is why I think so many people really like the ice bath and cold showers. It has a bunch of other positive effects, but it is a great trigger for adrenaline.